All right, let's get started. As always, let's go into our Wuji stance. So feet flat on the floor. Try something just a little bit different than we normally do. Just let your weight go forward and back just a little bit. And as you do that, start to notice all the parts of your foot. And then kind of wobble less until you finally get to stop moving and you can feel all the points front and back on your foot sitting on the floor. And then try the opposite. Just a little bit of weight shift side to side. And just adjust your feet until you feel like the entire foot pad is on the floor until you settle down and stop moving completely. You can even dig your toes in a little bit. And just so it may make you feel a little more secure. Don't do it to the point where they're tense with tight, but just so they're making a solid contact with the ground. I think we're going to start with the four thumbs, but before we do that, let's try something else just to loosen up the, the strongest muscle in the body is the jaw muscle. And also where we hold a lot of tension. Everyone's aware of all the tension we hold in the shoulders and neck, but you also hold a lot of tension in the jaw. So go ahead and just kind of open your mouth as, as wide as comfortable. and then close it down partially. And just do that a couple of times, stretch it out. Now take your fingers and just at the base of your jaw, right about here, you'll feel the muscle here just give it a good massage on both sides. Just work your way up a little bit and then down, but you can really feel where the belly of the muscle is. Good. Now open your mouth again, see if, if you can open it further or more comfortably. One more time. Now jag, waggle your jaw side to side. Then give me the biggest smile you can. I know it looks creepy. And then the saddest frown. Big smile again. And a frown. Take a deep breath and again, open the mouth nice and wide. Relax. One more time, open wide. And relax. Use your fingers again, just massage that area a little bit more.
Good. Let's start with the four thumbs. So under the orbit of the eye, the bone here, just tap with the two inner fingers. Just hard enough that you can start feeling the vibrations of the tapping against the bone. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Try to feel those vibrations spreading out through the skull. Down into the spine, down the rib cage. down to the hips, down the legs, down the bottom of the feet, and just a couple seconds more. Feel that connection to the earth. Feel the earth rising up to meet your feet. Feel the connection all the way down to the center of the earth. Good, just put your hands down. And just see if you can feel those vibrations continuing. Good, then follow the collarbone almost to the end. And then drop down about an inch. You're gonna find a natural depression on both sides. I like to use my two fingers like this. You can do it like that, it doesn't matter. But as you press in, you're gonna notice it's tender. If it's not tender, chances are you're probably not in the right place. So just kind of search around until you find both of them. And then just really kind of stick your fingers in. And I just like to kind of up and down or rotate or some downward pressure. This is the 27th point on the kidney meridian or the terminus of the kidney meridian. Whereas the first thump, which truly was a thump, was done for grounding. This is done for your energetic system. Get the energies flowing, get them flowing in the proper direction. Couple minutes, well, a couple seconds more. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Nice purging. Nice deep breath in and out through the mouth. And drop your hands down, relax. And we're going to go to what's known as the thymus point. Follow the sternum down again until about a third of the way down. There's again a natural depression. Rather than massaging it, this one we do actually thump. So you, I like to do it with an open fist. Or you can do it with two. But if you do it with two, make sure that you're hitting in the center. People have a tendency when they're doing two to move further out. And then you're going into a different meridian, a different part of the system. So it's for the immune system. So just clear everything out.
Good. So the last of the thumps can either be done as a thump or it can be done pushing in. I prefer like more like a massage, but you're following the bra line. These are the neurolymphatics. This is for lymph drainage. You just follow along and where you find, especially when you're massaging, you'll find there are spots that are tender. When you find that tender spot, stay there a little bit longer and just rub it out. Work all the way around on the rib cage. Then starting at the same point, work down about a 45 degree angle working on the rib cage. And again, you find any particular spots that are sore, just stay there a little bit longer. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And then one more spot that I personally like to add, go to the armpit, drop down about an inch below the armpit. You're gonna find a point right about there that's gonna be extremely sore, my guess. And you really just wanna put your fingers in there and massage that out. and then switch to the opposite side. Find the armpit, go down about an inch, and then just move around till you find that spot that's a little tender or very tender. Just give that a good massage. And as I said before, Four thumps is really a great thing to do every single morning to improve your well being, to maintain well being. Good. So let's go back to the Wuji stance, feet shoulder width apart. Get that sense again of the feet completely touching the floor, every part of the sole of your foot and your toes. Bend the knees slightly. Bring the hips forward. Shoulders down, relaxed, arms slightly in front. Feel like the top of the head is being lifted upward. Elongate the spine. Tuck the chin in just a little, keeping that neck nice and straight. Breathe in and out through the nose. And as you breathe in through the nose, draw it all the way down to the abdomen and let the abdomen expand. Kind of acting like a bellows. And then pause. And then exhale, the abdomen contracts back towards the spine, pushing the breath all the way up and out. And then we pause again. And then we start a new inhalation. Maintaining that posture. As you breathe in through your nose, visualize, try to feel the energy coming up the legs. We lift the energy up, we intertwine the fingers, we rotate them in front of our face. They come up and slightly behind 
as we look up between the fingers. And then we breathe out and sweep down. Breathe in. Hold your breath. Breathe out. Good, now this time breathe in. Look between the fingers, hold your breath. Now look forward while you're holding your breath. Then breathe out through the nose, sweep down. One more time. Good. Let your left hand come up. Palm up, right hand, palm down, fingers facing towards the midline. Just push them apart. Spiral around and push apart. Spiral around. Breathe out as you push apart. Breathe in as you spiral around. Just another variation of connecting to heaven and earth. One more time. Good. Let the hands come down in front of you. Lifting up again, but we get to the, when we're above, palms are facing each other. Lean to the left. Come back to center. Lean to the right. Come back to center. Turn to the left. Back to center. Turn to the right. Back to center. Sweep down. And all the way up and start over. Breathe out as you're going to the side. Breathe in as you come back to center. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Put our hands on our thighs, go to a wider stance. 
Maintain nice, straight position and just move side to side. Let the hips go out first, then the body kind of drops and then the head drops last. But completely to the side, trying to stay nice and tall. like a river. Just let the spine move from side to side. A couple more. Good. Staying with that wide stance. Bring the hands up. Turn to your left push out, pull it back in, push out. As you push out, you want to change or shift your weight so that you're pushing and you're putting the weight onto the left leg. And as you come back, your weight goes back onto the right leg. Breathe out as you push out, breathe in as you pull in. Form of pushing chi. One more time, and then we're gonna to turn to the center, do the same thing. Here, the weight shift is in the hips. So as I'm going forward, my hips go back. As I come back, my hips glide forward. The idea here is you want to use as little effort as possible for the hands, the arms to move. So they go straight out, they come straight back, not dropping down, staying at the same height. One more and then we're gonna to shift to the right. When we pull in, we shift and then we go. One more time, we're going to shift back to the center. As we pull in, we turn back to the center and then push out back and forth at the center.
One more. Let's bring our hands into the chest and then continue to let them go out, heart to the sky, open the chest, the lung, look up at the ceiling, lean back just a little bit, breathe it in, then breathe out, prayer position, and compress the chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Good. Staying with the wider stance, go wider if you even wish. Put your hands on your hips with loose fists, palms facing up. As you breathe out, fist rotates to the center line of your body. And then it comes back and we switch to the opposite side. Breathe out as you push out. Breathe in as it comes back in towards you. Imagine there's this point directly out of my chest that's sitting right about here at the center. That's where the fist reaches each time. So both fists hit at the same point. Nice and easy. We're just punching with a twist. One more time each side. Good. Turn to your left and turn the foot out toward to the bow stance. So the, your right leg is more of at a 45. Your left is facing to the left. And we're gonna come across and we're gonna punch across the body and then come back to center. So only your right hand is doing the punching. One more time. Rotate back to the center and punch again to the center. Just a couple of times. One more time each side. And then we're gonna shift to the right. Turn to the bow stance. Stand nice and tall and just twist at the waist. One more time. And then we go back to the center. Just a couple of here. Nice and slow with the breath.
Last one. Good. Now bring the fist up and out. And as that rotates down, the other fist comes out. Thumbs up and just go side to side. And slowly pick up speed as you do that. Turning like a little circle here, chain punching. And relax. Bring your feet a little closer together. Bring down the heavens, breathe in, draw in that energy. Feel it in your palms, then push it down the body twice more. Opening the flow, let the hands drift up, back down. Just let the hands rise with the breath as you breathe in. Or I should say the wrists, the hands are just kind of long for the ride. Breathe out as they float down. One more time. Step out to wider stance again. Bring your left hand across. And you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna point your fingers in the front of your ears. You're gonna come across and then you're gonna sweep down. Then you're gonna bring the other hand, point it there, sweep down. Where we've looked at a lot of di diagrams showing the various meridians and acupressure, acupuncture points that are in this area in front and around the ear. So what we're doing is we're sending energy into that part of the ear, into all of those different lines of energy. And then we're taking whatever energy we no longer need, no longer serves us, and we're taking it and we're sending it down to the earth to be recycled. One more time each side. Good, let's cleanse the wren. Just remember the dew meridian runs up the back, the wren meridian runs up the front. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring energy up the very center line, which is the wren, and then push it down. Now we're just gonna go slightly wider. Breathing in, breathing out as you push down. And then staying within the torso, just a little bit wider again, breathe in, breathe out. Let's do that again up the center. Right, slightly wider. A little wider again. One more time. 
up the center. A little wider. A little wider again. And down, good. Go to a wider stance, palms facing the ground. Measuring, imagine the shimmering pool in front of you. Just feel if you can feel your hand sitting on top of this water. And let's just move side, side on this surface. Shifting your weight from leg to leg rather than moving the arms. The body stays nice and tall. The arms, the shoulders don't move. Notice it's all through the weight shift. My hands stay exactly the same spot in relation to my body. And it's the side to side motion, the shifting of weight from side to side that moves my hands across this body of water. Bring your hands down low to the Dantian, low Dantian. So you're down below your belly button. Nice. Just try to slowly do this. Slow it down. That's probably the hardest thing in Qigong for us is to remember to slow it down and try to really feel with your hands, your fingertips, your palms, that surface that they're running over. Good, one more time. Come back to center. Now we're gonna do moon over the lake. So we're basically doing the same thing we're continuing. So we do the shift, the hands come over, then they float up. You shift your weight over, they float down. Palms facing the water body the entire time. I know I've mentioned this many times before, but in teaching earth science, this often reminds me of the convection cycle. We're following the water body. The water evaporates, it rises in the sky, it cools, it sinks back down. And just go through that nice cycle here. One more time and then we're gonna reverse. So we come up, go around, go to the side, and then switch to the opposite side and let it float up. Try to do it as effortless as possible. One more time. And good, let your hands come back down. Again, feeling the surface of the water. 
Let's do pebble in the pond. So we're gonna do here, we're still gonna feel that surface of the water. We're gonna keep our hands along that surface the entire time. So in order to move my hands away from me, I'm gonna let my hips go out. The hands circle around a little bit and the hips come forward, bringing the hands back to me. So just try that a couple of times. Breathe out as you go out, breathe in as you come in. Good. Now we've talked many, many times about how there are all these spirals in nature. And in Qigong, we like to mimic the spirals. So we're going to do is we're going to go palms down, but then we're going to turn them palms up as we come in. Again, we gather the energy, pull it into the body, and then release whatever no longer serves to be recycled back to the earth. One more time. Let your left hand come up turn out. As it goes down, the right hand turns up and goes down. So we're going to turn this wheel here. But notice the hands are turning. So as they're coming up, it's palm up. As it's going down, it's palm down. Slow it down, keep it in front of the body. Slow, slow with the breath. The shoulders don't move. Go almost so slow that it feels like you're moving through molasses. Good, one more time. And let both hands come down in front of your Dantian, lower Dantian. Allow the hands to come up, palms facing you, wrists cross, come up over the head, and then separate, palms out. Bend your knees as you go down, straighten up without locking your knees as you come up. Breathe in as you come up. Breathe out as you go down. Parting the clouds. versions of it anyway. One more time. And down. Bring your stance in about shoulder width apart and let's do separating the clouds. So 
the palms up as they come up your sides. Our elbows are bent at about a 90 degree angle when the hands come in and touch at the pinkies. You scoop the energy into your body push it back out with the back of the hands facing each other, then sweep all the way out and down. Then we start over. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out all the way down. One more time. Good. Just straighten up a bit. Keep your hands facing towards the earth. Feel that connection to the earth. Step out to a wider stance. Turn your feet out about a 45 degree angle, 40, 45 degree angle, and just settle down into like a little bench, a high bench behind you, just slightly behind you. So your knees are following the angles of your feet. Knees are not going out over the toes. You're standing nice and tall. And just feel that connection to the earth. drop down, come back up, breathe out as you go down, breathe in as you come up. Now imagine you feel like you have two balloons under your hands and you're pushing the balloons down as you go down and the balloons are lifting you as you come up. more time. As deep as comfortable. Slowly come back up. Good. Shake it out. Go back to Uji stance. Let's do the sipping breath. So with the sipping breath, remember, we're doing sort of like the bird's beak. We're putting in all four fingers to the thumbs. It's two breaths in, one breath out. So we breathe in, breathe in again, then breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. So we breathe in twice. And then out. One more time. bringing down the heavens. As your hands come up, try to feel the weight of the energy in your hands as you're breathing in. Breathing out through the nose, push that energy down through the top of the head, 
down through your torso, down the legs, deep into the ground. And again. One more time. Finish with both hands over the lower Dantian. Bring your feet together. And just imagine white light coming out of your palms. One palm is over the other, and both palms are about two inches below your belly button in a line with your lower dantian. Stand nice and tall with a good posture. And allow that white light, that brilliant loving energy to enter your body and be absorbed by your lower dantian. And imagine that lower dantian is like a little pearl and it glows brighter, hotter. Until that energy starts to spread out from that little pearl. And it spirals down your legs and up your torso. Filling every part of your body with this warm, loving white light. And as it moves through your body, it removes any darkness, any energetic stagnation or blockages. It dispels negative thoughts and emotions until every part of your body is a glow with this energy. And just let the energy move through your body. Let your body be moved by the energy. Once that energy fills every part of your physical body, it expands outward. And just picture the energy surrounding you in every direction, right, left, front, back, up, down. And allow yourself to float inside this protective cocoon. And just become aware of what it feels like to be safe. To be healthy. be at peace. Take a deep breath, gather all of those feelings, and take them with you for the rest of the day. Thank you.